Welcome back to another edition of the Best for the Buck, a series where we try to find the best co-op games available for the cheapest price. In this episode, the game is Nobody Saves the World. Before we start, if you're interested in co-op related videos such as reviews, gameplay footage, trailer reactions or live streams, then subscribe as we come out with new videos every single week. And if you haven't yet seen our live streams of the game, then check it out right here. Let's get back to some quick info about the game. Nobody Saves the World is quite a new game as it came out on the 18th of January 2022 by the creators of Drinkbox Studio makers of games such as Guacamelee 2. The game is available on all platforms and can you play co-op campaign online and local co-op up to two players with a drop-in, drop-out availability. There is unfortunately no cross-platform play between PlayStation, Xbox or PC. So what is this game about? Well, Nobody Saves the World is an action RPG in which players take on the role of a little guy named Nobody, who can change into all kinds of different forms. The more experience points you and your friend get, the more different characters you can select and evolve into, transform into a slug, a knight, a dragon, or many more. Playing the game alone is a bit difficult, as dying is pretty easy, so recruiting a fellow adventurer friend is very helpful. Fighting alongside your friend not only makes things a bit easier, but also more fun and provides a different experience. We found that we ended up helping each other out a lot, talking through what skills to select or characters to choose. So if you want to play with a friend, just hit a button on the second controller and a duplicated nobody will drop right in. If it's online, you just have to send an invite. The storyline is silly yet fun, with weirdly creative animated characters. Nobody Saves the World begins with Nobody waking up in his house. Upon venturing into town, he quickly learns that Nostromagus, the town's chief wizard, has been kidnapped. A quick misunderstanding later, you and your friend find yourselves in the wizard's dungeon. From there, you'll have to defeat a lot of monsters, complete a lot of quests and save the world. What did we like about the game? Well, we really enjoyed the 15 plus characters you can select between, each having their own gameplay mechanics. Also, we enjoyed the 80 plus abilities you can customize to your characters. Furthermore, the game really excelled with evolving with your development, meaning the stronger you became, the more difficult and tougher the maps and enemies were, which forced you and your friend to stay focused. Lastly, we loved the many weird and unpredictable quests, the funny soundtrack, and how easy it was to invite your friend to join along on a campaign. You can also easily save the game and then come back another day to continue with your friend from where you left off. The only two negatives we really could find were 1. That this game sometimes felt too catered to a younger demographic, something which is of course not a wrong in itself, but just made us feel a bit too old for the game. Two. The menu is only able to be controlled by one player at a time. When a player enters the menu in the game, the other player can't do anything else, even when playing online. In the local game, this would make sense as the menu will take up the full screen and stop the action for both players. However, when playing co-op online, you really should let the other player who didn't open the menu continue about his or her business. On the other hand, on the positive side, you could say that this forces us to talk about upgrades together in the menu, which could be argued is a good co-op feature. In conclusion, Nobody Saves the World is a fun and silly adventure game which has some great co-op features, with an easy drop-in ability and a large character customization. Currently the game is free with a PlayStation Plus account, while it's around £20 on Steam, Xbox and on Switch. So considering how good this game is and compared to its cheap price, Nobody Saves the World easily deserves to be put in the Co-op Zones category as one of the best for the buck.